Hey there. Please enjoy this amazing audio performance done by two of our amazing VAs, Atmos Audios and Fearless Then. Brother, are you sure it's okay to go out this far from the pack? I know you said the scent of deer were close by, but you know the humans who despise our kind tend to like hunting for us better this late at night. Kara, calm down. I've been hunting around this time for the past five moons. I've not seen a hide nor hair from neither humans or others of our kind. Besides, you didn't need to come with, sister. Did I not tell you to stay back in the pack with the others? And sit in that dusty cave waiting for you to come back again? No way. I'm not letting you get rid of me that easily. <sighs> fine, fine. Just keep quiet. You'll scare them away with your whining if you keep that up. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. But, come on, let's find out. What if it's a... Wait! Wait for me! Brother! Stop, it's a human! We gotta run, we gotta alert! No, wait, look, they're not a hunter. See? No gun. And look, their leg is stuck in that bear trap. We gotta help them. But brother... I know you're just being cautious, sis, but... Use your nose. What do you smell? Do they smell hostile? No. I don't smell hostility. Just... Blood. And fear. And... Sadness, exactly. This human must be a runaway. Shh, calm down, little one. I won't hurt you. I'm going to help free you, but you have to stop shouting and crying, or we will all be in trouble. Uh, Kara, you're better at calming our kind down. Try calming this human down. Okay, okay. Hey, I know you're scared as we are wolves and all that, but please, you need to calm down. Here, see my hand? You can hold it. Nothing's gonna happen to you. My brother will free you, and then you can be on your way. Almost. Got it. Got it. Quick. Pull yourself out. Phew. That was a close one. Hey, you okay? Can you walk? I take that as a no. I smell it too. Human. You're injured. I can smell the blood from where the trap got you. Let me see. No broken bones, but the teeth in that trap has badly shredded your leg. Here. This cloth should help you for now to keep you from bleeding out. It's not safe to treat here. We better take you back to camp with us. Are you sure that is a good idea? You know how the others feel about humans. I hate it when you're right, Kara. Just let me think. Uh, better think faster. I can hear more coming. I know, I know. Just... I got it. Quickly, follow me. I know a spot. There's a cavern nearby, hidden behind some falls. They'll never find us there. Here. Let me just... There. We can get there faster if I carry you like this. Kara, stay close and quiet. All right, brother. Lead the way.
Quick, behind the falls. I think we're in deep enough. We should be safe for the time being. How did you know about this place? I never knew there was a cave behind these walls. Discovered it a few months ago during my last patrol alone. Decided to keep it as my own private sanctuary from the rest. For the time being, at least a human will be safe here. There. Just sit here. I'll be back. Oh, brother. One of these days. Ah. Yes, he does tend to do things like these often. But it can't be helped. He's always been my headstrong older brother. Always going out on his own and getting into some form of trouble. <laughs> Even the elders used to give him heck every time he brought trouble to their paws. But that's beside the fact. Let's have a look at that leg. Don't worry, in this form I'm harmless for a wolf. Yes, we are wolves. We just kept this form still because it's our way of staying safe in the world of you humans. You... you won't tell anyone of our existence, right? Why would you? What do you mean? Why would you run away from your own kind? What happened? I very much would like to hear this too. I find it strange to find a human as young as yourself run away from your own life amongst your own kind. Please share your tale with us while I build us a fire to warm us up. What? They branded you a traitor? But why? You're human. We can smell you're human. I agree, but brother, I can sense something more from them. Something more... human? That's... that's impossible. Why would the humans do such a thing? Experimenting on another being, let alone their own kind, is considered a heinous crime among any kind. I agree. It's not right. It was a good thing you escaped and you did. Out here in these woods, you will not be judged unlike your former kind. You may have these extra scales, but that doesn't change who you are in the inside. Sister, will you bring me the Yarrow and Calendula mixture I've grounded up there already? We need to stop their bleeding quickly now. Of course, brother. Here you go. Thanks. Now listen, I'm gonna apply this yarrow and calendula to your leg. Okay? And this golden rod plant will aid in reducing the inflammation that's already occurring in your leg. Just hold still. Good. Now that it's applied, we need to cover it back up to keep the bacteria from infecting. Uh, what about those large palm leaves outside? They're surely big enough to cover this wound easily. Just be careful when retrieving them, Carrie says. Right. Be right back. Don't worry. She's very capable. Oh. Well, when you live as long as we have, you gain much knowledge about the wildlife around yourself in order to survive. How old are we? Uh... Believe me when I say you don't want to know. We were lucky. I found large palm leaves just a short distance from the falls here. I even found this vine. It looked strong enough to use to hold the leaves together. You did make sure the vine wasn't a poison ivy line, right? We don't want a repeat of last time. Uh, of course I did. 
Now this is regular honeysuckle vine. I learned my lesson from the last time. Good. <laughs> we don't want them to have any itchy situations. Alright, they should do it. Now, how about some water, human? You lost a lot of blood. And you need to replenish your loss. Already ahead of you, Lazarus. Filled the container up for them. Figured they might be thirsty and tired. Here. No, don't chug. That's it. Slow. There we go. Feeling better? Great. Now, brother, what do we do now? They need help. But we can't stay with them the whole time. The other pack members will get suspicious. You're right, but I feel we can trust them. But for now, we can't let the others find them. Not yet. We have no choice but to go back. Listen, we have to go home for a while. But one of us will come back to check on you as often as possible. You must stay here hidden and recover. Yeah, don't worry. You're safe here. For now, just rest. We will return soon. This blanket should help you keep warm for a while. You're welcome. Rest well. Come on, brother. See you later, human. Rest well. So, what's the next step? You saw those marks on their skin. I believe their story. To think humans have drooped so low, it's disgusting. I agree, sister. We cannot let the humans have them. They've seen too much pain. Let's head home and talk to our parents. I think they should know. Mother, I think, will understand. But father... It's a risk after all he had been through, but I think once he sees our memories, he can be trusted to help us too. Come on, let's go home. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can come back. Very well, brother. Let's go. I want to come back as soon as possible. Don't worry, little human. When you wake, you won't be alone ever again. Never again.